Peace and greetings, you guys. What's good? It's your girl Naya from the Metaphysical Mommy, and you are now watching another Vlogmas 2017 video. In this video, I want to talk about my intention cards that I pulled for 2017. Now, I decided to do this instead of, well, I've never picked a word for the year, if that makes any sense, but I did pick these three cards for the year and it was just to constantly keep me reminded of the things I wanted to pursue and you know the attributes that maybe I want to embody um of that sort so for the four of wands this was just about building foundations building a lot of foundations um for creative pursuits for my home for my my career and even you know the things that I value wanting to be more of an upbeat kind of I don't want to say like let's celebrate but let's acknowledge and recognize our achievements here and knowing that this foundation is built to last right so that kind of energy is what I was looking for and it played out pretty well. Um, you know, I built some steady routines and I've made great strides this year. And that's really all I wanted because, you know, fours are not like at the end of the suit. They're like somewhere just before the middle. And that's OK. That's where I, that's where I was in the beginning of the year. And I'm sure I'm somewhere else now. But this card helped me to set that focus and that intention. The high priestess, it was, of course, listening to myself, trusting my instincts, having that inner knowing and that inner knowledge and sharing that which I can, that I'm not supposed to protect behind and keep behind the veil. Um, so it's been a very intuitive year for me, okay? And I'll just try to, that's kind of hard, but... Um, Let's see, because I, I picked these three cards, but I also picked cards to reinforce them that are behind it. So let's see what I did here, because it's almost time for me to pick some new intention cards. So it's time to remove these and reassess. And so this is going to be di different this year, too, for me, because I know I'm focusing on the Thoth system. So I should use a Thoth-based deck to... Hello, kitties. <laughs> Gotta use something to support it. Okay. So I use my Radiant Rider weight deck because I know, like, I have too many. Okay, so let's see. Four of Wands and the Queen of Swords being forward and getting the things that I want accomplished. Being forward, being, um, being nurturing, but also being kind. This, um, Queen of swords represents cardinal air so libra so it is much about the relationships that we have with others um and this you know this is just like to reinforce my my focus on having built these these foundations for myself new routines and things like that where um it's it, it manifested itself just beautifully because you know I really haven't been upset or really extra crazy about um, anything, but I have been active and very wordy this year. I'll just say it like that instead of holding it in, basically let it out. Okay, High Priestess stands alone in this particular scenario. And again, the high priestess for me was about trusting my instincts, trusting that I'm doing the right thing, that I'm going the path that I'm supposed to go and knowing that it's all good. And that's that's where I want to be and uncovering knowledge and learning it, understanding it. It was a lot about reflecting and being intuitive and tapping and touching into my emotions more. Um, a way of expressing them. You know what I mean? So it's it's been good. There has been... You guys already seen the rest of the vlogmas, so I'm not going to continue on with that. But 
it's no curiosity that I feel like, okay, I'm now comfortable to now start really being active on my YouTube channel. And it's funny because the Nine of Pentacles had a two-fold rule or two-fold meaning for me. So one of them was about, uh, since Pentacles talks about the physical, right? It was um, about my weight loss journey. This was about my weight loss journey. Um, and then it was also, because if you... If you try to think about this in modern times, this Nine of Pentacles could potentially look like she's one of those, like a vlogger that's outside and she's vlogging and talking about her garden and all these kind of things there. So I did have the intention at the beginning of the year to get more active on my YouTube channel. So that was also another reason that I chose this card. And then I reinforced it with the Eight of Wands because the Eight of Wands is about forward movement, progression, um, communication messages travel um I didn't do too much traveling except locally this year but it wasn't intended to be about travel it was intended to be about being communicative and putting it out there and um of course there's this quickness that happens with the eight of wands this kind of sudden burst of energy that happens and I have been doing a lot of networking um and when we talk about rapid communication, we're basically talking about instant messaging, text messages, um, anything that can be real time, but can go really quickly to, um, you know, to get the messages sent across. So, you know, that was part of it for me for this year. So these cards will get put away and I will um, pick a new a new round and most likely it'll be thought based but we will see I will let you guys know in another vlogmas videos which cards I pick and why so I hope you enjoyed this vlogmas video if you have any questions or anything go ahead and drop them in the comments below and as always much love many blessings peace